Øh... Oh! Oh yeah. <laughs> oh come on. It's all almost done, as you can see. The shell is nearly complete. And I just have that one spot over there because I wanted to show how I was doing this. See, I put a ring around to kind of get the side pieces. And what I do is I sort of maybe staircase out just a little bit, but everything's still in reach. Give a couple blocks underneath. I'm holding shift this entire time. I have not let go of it a single one time. Just hold down the shift all the time. Just even when you're walking in the park in real life, you're holding shift. And then, bleh. oh wait, that wasn't smart. I need the rest of that to get over there. Get out of here. Oh, oh, it's dark. I'll just replace that. And now I'm left with this middle bit. And that, in case I fall down. So, I noticed something interesting about this. This is kind of what it's supposed to look like. The reason why I went for the lighter material is because in the shadows, it starts to turn into that kind of grayish paneling. And I noticed that when you get out here, it doesn't look like you're that far into the sphere. But actually, that's really far away, and that's only halfway. So like as you walk out, and I'll sort of crouch just to get perspective, like you're actually going pretty far. And this is just the middle. So I'm I'm pretty uh pretty happy with this actually. <laughs> In fact, I'm really glad I didn't go for smaller. Because it's just too cool to go big, you know? It's just too cool to go big. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna come down here. Let's see, uh how many blocks down should I go? Or there we go. I'm gonna put a cross beam from here all the way to there. And uh who cares? It's not in the middle. Whatever. All I need is a way to get up to the bottom of this. Alright, there we go. That should give us enough room to do the next part. Because this can't just be some, you know, multicolored fashion statement of a bridge. No, it needs to be the bridge. We got more. Just, you know, I just never run out, apparently. I don't know what my deal is. <laughs> Actually, something interesting about the courts. I've gotten to the point where this required so much of it. Like... This is so much quartz here. It's kind of unreal. Um, it's the most I've ever collected. I actually can't find any readily available quartz in the nether nearby the portal until I like go really far out. So hopefully either I don't need any for a while, or by the time I do need more, I'll have a way to um, sort of export that activity to uh, far out reaches of the nether. I did find like three other... Uh, another uh, fortresses though so uh, that'll be fun to take a look at so the best way I could think of doing this is actually bringing this and turning this into a uh, half slabs basically bringing this up half level keeping it this wide and building the bridge out this way but before I do too much of that I also need to have uh, upside down stairs like that. 
It'll make sense. So it'll basically be a half slab on top, these on the sides, all the way out. And once I get to here, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, get rid of some of this. <laughs> this is still the middle, which is really valuable to know. Um, but the rest of it, for now, is going to get these half slabs. Um, and then probably three for each of these. I can get, still get to the staircase, so I guess I can get down if I need to. I'll work with that. Also, I think for before the end, I'm going to make it upside down in this direction. Which won't, won't look like much from the top, but it'll just give that extra dimensionality on the bottom. And if I have a full cubes, it'll just be that little bit more... Uh, bracing that looks like is required on the end there. Just a just a subtle, subtle thing. Actually, you know what's going to go down here is I'm going to put a chest here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold hold on. <laughs> so I brought along 32 chests. That's a that's as many chests as a stack of wood will make, and a whole stack of glowstone because this is going to get fancy. And I'm gonna get these, uh, I'm just gonna use these iron, iron blocks. I'm gonna turn all of these, except for one of them, into hoppers. I'm gonna put away the rest of the iron so I don't screw up. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to run hoppers underneath this, toward here. And in fact, I'll have the first one here, and I'm gonna, it's going to be pointed into that block, so it's very crucial to click there. And as I hold shift here, the reason is if you, you know, throw uh, throw something in here, you think, oh, where'd it go? It goes into the one it's feeding into. So that's going to be running all along here, and the first there's going to be one here, so I'll put that there, one on top, so shift that, and put it on top of that. The rest of this, the reason why there's all that uh, scaffolding down there is to be able to reach the bottom so I can put in the hoppers. The rest of this, I believe, I'll just give it a um, little shape like that. Then give it a double brick action there. That looks pretty good. It's like a, it's like a thing that's out there beckoning you, calling your name in the distance, in the night. Well, that's kind of cool. So here on the other underside, we're going to have some work on our hands. You see the hopper is pointing in here because it, I clicked it in here. I'm going to get all of this out of here, all along this line. All right, there's the other hopper. Hapa. So we'll shift click, Doing the shift click dance, walk backwards more like. Could be a moonwalk, you can't see my feet. So uh, just pretend they're doing all kinds of fancy stuff. Boom, so. Yes, very, very good. Very good time indeed. All right, the next part requires a bit of glowstone work. I'm gonna put one of these at each of these little uh, spots see yeah this this is what it looks like up here um, it lights it up nicely and you can't really tell where the lights coming from and in fact I realize I made probably way too many of these but if we get a upside down staircase going on here that completely blocks it off and here so I'm clicking on the upper part of that block down there to get those half staircases then you only really see it if you come to the side, and all of these are still going to be spawn proof. Actually, I actually have to check on this one. Let's see. Uh, light level 8. So yeah, we're good. If it was 7, it would be bad. Light level, by the way, is 3 from the bottom. The thing is, though, I want the rest of this to be lit up. So I'm going back down. 
I can go ahead and put like an upside down stair thing there too. And I'll eventually do the same here, but when I'm finally going up for the last time. So underneath here, these are all gonna be half slabs, but I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, this is where the three would be here. Put down a glowstone every three, four, five, six. And what that's gonna do, five, six, is make a cool pattern on the top. But first, let's get these half slabs in. That completes the, uh, the exterior almost of this. So I'm gonna take out this now. There, there's a nice, uh, nice dramatic shot. I'll even kind of move around a little bit. So here we go, it's a nice path. And uh, what I like about this is since the block on top is transparent, it sort of has this line going through here. And what I think I'm gonna do is actually carry this pattern into here a little ways, which, oh, oh, don't wanna get ahead of myself. Brings me to this. It's nice and square, but I think it should be rounder. So I'm liking the prospect of something like this. Just simple, nothing too crazy. The original uh, Cerebro, if you want to go to the source material, has a bit of a uh, circular entryway to it. And actually, I like the idea of it because it'd be quite a contrast from all this. In fact, the more I do this, the more I realize how much of a contrast to the point where, like, it has to be a part of, like, the, there has to be a reason for the, the striking striking contrast because like the lighting is different it's that glowstone different material there's like this crazy hopper system which i'm going to explain all right chess goes here yeah hello friend i'm gonna use you so nothing's in there if we hook that up right upright then put a torch in here so i didn't use it it's gone Huh, huh, huh. Run over here. There it is. Yeah, recycled torch. I think it's sort of, whatever. The point of all that is that I want to have something happen where if you put something in there, it comes along here, goes through a processing station nearby here. So I'm looking around. And I want this track to lead to it. So maybe, maybe right here, maybe there should be something here that like, you put something in there, it processes it and out pops something else. I don't know. Could be like a, uh, a thing that's useful in another area. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I'll figure out those details later. But for now, I think I'm gonna have this pattern go in Let's see, one, two, three. let's say 10 spaces. 10's good, 10's nice. So I don't, I could fill this in with hoppers, but for now, I'm just gonna do this. Put light sources underneath. And what happens is basically the same thing. Same thing that happened out there. See, I kind of like that. I think that looks pretty cool actually. And since uh, this is this is spawn proof because it's a lower half slab, there's the full block. I don't have to worry about this being too dark, so I can make it as uh, creepy and eerie as I want. This I can probably just uh, go ahead and show off the general design. It has these three slabs on the bottom. It's pretty standard. And you put a stair here. You freak out the uh, the blocks that are floating nearby. And those, upside down stair. And to save blocks, I'll do the half slab on the bottom here, but you can do a full if you want. And shoop, shoop, into whoop. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go 10 that way. Well, I have to admit, I got a little carried away with this. It's a little bit more than 10. <laughs> In fact, this almost goes to the end. But I kind of find myself kind of just like staring at this and being sort of almost mesmerized by by this uh, path. Actually, you know what? 
this just looks like something that I guess, like I said, isn't really in this uh, in this world yet. It's almost like an electronic feel to it, an electric feel. <laughs> but uh, this this just looks really futuristic, and I I really like it a lot. I might as well just break down this wall. <laughs> I like the stark contrast too of like you out here walking around. And then, whoa, this is completely different. What's going on? What? What? You know. Oh, it just... I like how this looks. I kind of want these floor things to wind all over the place. It's almost kind of Tron-y, actually. Like Tron-esque. Where it's like the trails or whatever. Almost digital. And it's interesting is that the portals are kind of digital too. So I'm curious about their relationship now. Quite curious. All right, time to turn on the lights. Spoil all the magic. It's the light time. It's time for light. I still do want to put this um, right there. I do want this to be another room. And yeah, I do like that. The stairs will curve around. The floor will be uh, business as usual. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I know you've already seen me do this. Yeah, just like this hallway. And if I do that in a few blocks, and we can turn off the lights. Yeah. 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 Nice. Woo! <laughs> so as much as I'd like to continue doing work over there, Expanding the stuff, putting more stuff. This had a lot of behind the scenes work and I'm just tired. I can't help it. I'm I'm a human. I after all. <laughs> I'm not a machine. Wait, I am not an animal. I guess that doesn't really whatever. I, the the point is that's enough. It's enough. <laughs> I take a few days, rest up. Be ready for more, yeah. But I need to rest, so this has been Red McDead with the Saga. Bye-bye, for now.